So we're here in Huntington Park. This is my uncle's shop. A couple stores down, it's called Gold Exico. So the customer came in, he's asking a lot of questions about the watch. And that's the 41. 41 millimeter, yes yeah. sir. You have the watch, so I'm gonna go pick it up for you. If you're still interested, just confirming. So I call the customer and confirm with him that I do have the watch and he says that he's sold. 17,500 for this Rolex Mariner is a great deal and you can tell that he's excited just on the phone. I'll go pick it up for you today. Thank you, sir. All right, we're gonna head over to my uncle's store. He has a store in Huntington Park and we, you guys just saw the call, but we have a customer that wants to buy one of his watches and we're gonna go see if we can pick up some more. So my dad has three brothers, or two brothers, there's three of them, and they all are in the same business, all in different parts of LA. Um, they came over here like 30, 40 years ago and started doing the gold business, watch business, so they, they're very trusted out here and around the world, and I'm very fortunate to have resources like this where I can go to my uncle if I want to sell a watch, go pick it up and sell it. So it's pretty cool. All right. We're here in Huntington Park. This is my uncle's shop. A couple stores down, it's called Gold Exico. This was actually my first job, my second job ever. My first job was a pizza delivery boy. My second job was working at my uncle's pawn shop. Doing loans, gold, whatever people had. And that's how I learned the business. I was 14, doing loans, speaking Spanish. It's a 100% Spanish community here. No, almost no one speaks English. Bracelet still has its stickers on it right here. On here too. And here's the head. Still has its factory sticker on the back. New stock, old inventory is what we call it. No. No. We do? We do? Thank you. Yeah. See you guys. All right, so we ended up just getting the one watch, just the two-tone Submariner. Uh, this customer's gonna come pick it up on Friday. And it has its factory stickers, which I didn't know, which is great. I'm giving it to him, kind of cheap, 17.5 for a two-tone but passing good deals on to you guys. That's what it's about. So here's the watch. Let's just put the bracelet on it because the bracelet was off. Putting it on. You have to have a tool? No, you have to be careful, you know? Yeah, probably not for a kilo. Here she is. One second. Norma. Okay. Thanks. Yeah. Appreciate it, Mike. And that's the 41. 41 millimeter, yes yeah. sir. So the crown lineup, is that, is that the way it goes? That's correct. What's the date wheel? Do you service um, other watches? Way. The two ways it spins though, right? So real quick, these are stickers right here, right? The so the customer came in, he's asking a lot of questions about the watch. A lot of times we get questions about how do I know if it's 100% authentic? I'm not in this to sell someone a fake watch and con off them just for $17,000. I'm in it for the long haul, so if you're purchasing something for $17,500, you're probably gonna have, have a lot of questions too. So it was a lot of questions, but it is what it is. And it's my job to answer the customer's questions and make them feel 100% comfortable. Other ways to tell, even if you're just like looking at your friend's watches, feel the movement compared to yours. You do the spin test, you hit it on your thing, you hear that it's spinning. Uh -huh. It should sound like it's balanced. On fake watches, it'll spin really fast. Like, okay. Here for you. All right, sir. Let me get you a water too. Just to... All right. We appreciate it. Thank a you, lot. Robert Tino. You are. Uh, All right. Sounds good. We'll see you. All that thing I'm doing. So, right. so we picked up that watch from my uncle. I just sold it. Uh, 17,500 for a brand new 2021. We're giving the best deals in town. Go to watchguys.com. Thank you, guys.